Hey friends, welcome to Sunday Night Prayer. It's been a full week if you started on Monday and uh, tomorrow is a brand new week. If you haven't watched the explanation video yet, you can go watch that. Once again, if you'd like to follow along with a breviary, if you have your own breviary, you can do that. You can follow along with the app on your phone called iBreviary. Or uh, you can follow along with the words on the screen. Okay, quiet your minds for prayer. Well, thank you, Lord, for such a wonderful day. God, come to our assistance. Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now we will do an examination of conscience. If you would uh, like to journal your responses, you can do so, or... Just ponder them in your mind. And call to mind all the blessings of this day. What are you thankful for? Now call to mind your sins and your shortcomings. Any of the moments today where you failed to love, um, where any, any of the times you did anything without Christ in your life or where you were maybe grasping out of your own selfishness, bring those to your mind. And Lord, make us aware of our shortcomings. Something that's coming to mind is where also were the moments where you maybe lost hope and why. Where were the times where you allowed yourself to be discouraged by the enemy? And lost trust in God's promise. of faithfulness. And Lord, we ask for your forgiveness 
as we pray. I confess to you, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, for I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, to the Lord our God. Now think about uh, one thing you can do tomorrow to improve uh, or to uh, better love more like Jesus. Lord, help us to do um, that one thing and give us the grace to love like you do, to see people with your eyes, to have compassion. And grant us an ability, to openness to the Holy Spirit to work in our lives. We ask for your hope and your joy. for we cannot live out the faith without your grace for. So we ask for your hope and your joy. Night holds no terrors for me, sleeping under God's wings. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, My refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. It is he who will free you from the snare of the fowler, who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day nor the plague that prowls in the darkness, nor the scourge that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand fall at your right. You it will never approach. His faithfulness is buckler and shield. Your eyes have only to look to see how the wicked are repaid. You who have said, Lord, my refuge, and have made the Most High your dwelling. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell. For you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you upon their heads, hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. On the lion and the viper you will tread and trample the young lion and the dragon. Since he clings to me in love, I will free him. Protect him, for he knows my name. When he calls, I shall answer, I am with you. I will save him in distress and give him glory. With length of life, I will content him. I shall let him see my saving power. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Night holds no terrors for me, sleeping under God's wings. A reading from the book of Revelation. They shall see him face to face and bear his name on their foreheads. The night shall be no more. They will need no light from lamps or the sun, for the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever. The word of the Lord. Now have a moment of silence pondering God's word. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, 
I commend my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Let us pray. Lord, we have celebrated today the mystery of the rising of Christ to new life. May we now rest in your peace, safe from all that could harm us, and rise again refreshed and joyful to praise you throughout another day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. And we'll pray the Mary, Mother of the Redeemer, prayer. Loving Mother of the Redeemer, Gate of Heaven, Star of the Sea, assist your people who have fallen, yet strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature, you bore your Creator, yet remained a virgin after as before. You who received Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us, poor sinners. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, it was a wonderful week, and I hope you will continue this wonderful practice of prayer. Now we can go to bed and rest in the Lord. Good night.